Hey guys, and welcome to uh, video. This is uh, number ten, Numero Diaz, for our uh, for our Spanish speaking viewers of the uh, infamous two beta walkthrough. And uh, for this one, this uh, tenth video again, I'm going to be addressing a couple uh, questions and uh, comments from uh, YouTube, uh, M4G, and RealityTales.com. And the first one was somebody just wanted to watch me levitate a car, and you could see on this street I absolutely obliterated the traffic uh, just messing around with it. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, so you could just get on top of a car, hold R2, and you could just kind of levitate it. You can also uh, maneuver yourself around the vehicle while you're levitating. Um, you know, it's kind of unfortunate. I wish you could kind of maneuver the car around as you were levitating on top of it, but unfortunately you can't do that. So, um, now somebody else wanted me to show off, uh, I, I guess they wanted to see if I could stack cars on top of each other from, uh, using the levitation ability, so we're gonna go ahead and try that here. We're just gonna levitate this one with the, oh, that worked out pretty well, actually. So yeah, you can, uh, you can stack cars on top of each other. Um, I'm, actually, let's see if I could get a third on there. Nah, he's not gonna drive, because he has a car on top of him. <laughs> oh, and I guess I killed him on accident. Sorry, buddy. Alright. Oh, and uh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys was, this is pretty cool, I have yet to mess around with the directional pad on the DualShock controller to see what that does. And uh, to my surprise, if you press left on the D-pad, you actually get a, um, a quick screen by holding down left on the D-pad. You can kind of cycle through, just on the fly, some uh, some of your abilities. So if you press R1, you can cycle through all the R1 attacks that you want to um, apply. So I'm just going to go with a pincer bolt for the time being. And that's the one that converges. Breaks into three and then it converges. Uh, we're going to do, you know, for square we have, uh, we'll just stick with double grenade. Um, Oh, and also with the detonation blast, which is your X uh, ability, if you guys can see that. Um, we're going to do... I'm just going to show you guys really quickly what that does. And basically what it does is you make... It almost looks like a portal, and watch what it does. So that is really cool. It basically... It triggers all the electrical outputs that are in its proximity and it basically makes them go haywire and electrocute everything in its uh in its radius. So it's pretty cool. Let's try that again here in like a little a group of cars, see what happens. So that is really cool. Just makes like an electrical field that goes on for like to look like twenty yards it could go. Um I guess it's really contingent on the amount of objects that are in its uh proximity. Um, and another thing that I want to show you guys was also uh, when I was tweaking around uh, the directional pad is um, something that I was a little curious about because uh, it seemed like they omitted it from uh, Infamous 2 but uh, it's actually in this game it's the uh, the little uh, it slows down time and it allows you to line up your shots a little more precisely um, for those of you who played the first game you might remember that so we're going to go ahead and try it on this unsuspecting civilian. Oh, he suspects me now. Oh, sorry, I kind of zoomed out. Let's try that again. Now the thing about this is that it requires a lot of uh, shards from your um, electric abilities up top. So if you, if you watch where it is right now, it looks like I have about eight up there right now. If I use this attack, it's going to take off about five. So if I get like a... Here it is. Come on, somebody. There we go, I'm going to line somebody up over here. And I totally missed her! Oh man. The pressure. Let's try this one more time. Gonna get this one. Oh, headshot. So that's another cool thing, you can slow down time, so if you're kind of getting bombarded with attacks, you can slow down the time and make your shots a little more precise, and I think it's a one hit kill if you get a headshot. So uh, that's a couple, uh, a couple little things I found out on my own, just tinkering with the controls a little bit, and uh, also uh, answering a couple of uh, the questions that you guys had from YouTube and uh, my website, realitypills.com, as well as uh, n4g.com. So 
keep watching, guys, and I'm going to keep posting. Uh, I'll see you at numero 11. What's 11 in Spanish? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody leave a comment. <laughs>